Captain Macab, Sergeant Stalwart. If there's one tan who knows everything about General Dune's next move, it's Major Windsor. Your assignment? Cross the Pungya line, capture Major Windsor with at least three of his men, and bring them back to Hedge Base. A prisoner assignment, huh? What does the captain have to say about this one? It doesn't matter what the captain thinks of this assignment, boss. Oh yeah, it does? You think Macabre is seriously gonna take a tan prisoner? What is it? It's an MG turret. It's there, and it's blocking our path! Commit fire! One radio that wouldn't shut up. Moss, you son of a bitch! And now they're probably gonna send a patrol out here, see all these dead tans, and then come looking for us. We're on the clock now. God only knows when the tan will find out about this turret. We gotta get to Resistance Nest 23 now! Get in there and grab that son of a bitch Windsor and go home. And that's what happened. We got the hell out of there as fast as we could. 10th Armored tried to counterattack, but they didn't have enough goddamn men. It was embarrassing. Major, you're you're one of the few survivors who actually escapes Hedge. Don't you at least feel lucky? Lucky? Look, Brown. Luck has nothing to do with it. It's the fact that Viking Company doesn't even exist anymore. That's him. That's Major Windsor. Which one? The one who's talking, the dark tan one. Check out the bunker. Yeah, it looks like they got some artillery in there. Machine gun to a brook on top. See that? Yeah. You got your smoke grenades? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Get your men into position. But this time, we're not gonna fail. The next counterattack will show those puke colored green sons of bitches who's in charge of this war. Well, hell yeah, sir. Do you think General Dune is ready to release his army on the greens? Or unleash Lucifer? When the time comes, he'll let us know, Sergeant. But the greens won't have a chance against what's coming their way. <laughs> Private Russet. What the hell? Smoke! Get ready! What what do we do? Everyone hit the ground! The Major, shouldn't we spread out or something? I said Private, get down! Place? Get your tan asses off the ground now, you sand fucking puss cakes! No, no, no! Halt! Halt! God damn it! Halt! 
Tank? What's going on? Get on the radio. Contact Gorilla Base. But Major, what's going on outside? Get on the fucking radio! Do not move! Surrender immediately! Shit. Get back! Drop it, sand fucker. <laughs> Fuck! Ah! God damn it! You asshole! Ah, motherfucker! Fuck you! Let go of me, you you piece of shit! Give me the radio. Channel 6. I'm gonna kill you, fucking damn fucker! Back up! Come on, get off me! Come on! Okay, yield! 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 Stand down! Stand down. You got us. All right, you got us, Captain McCobb. Glad we finally get to meet in person. Likewise. Ah, son of a bitch! You all right, Sergeant? It's not that bad. I just, I just can't believe that fucking Sandman shot me. That's right. I'm talking about you, Sergeant. I'm not gonna forget about this. All right, that's enough, Moss. Six prisoners, Captain. We got Major Windsor, a Sergeant, a Corporal, and three privates. Not bad. Radio HQ. Tell him we got the Major. Yes, sir. I well, hope we didn't give you Sandman too much of a scare. <laughs> As soon as that leg's patched up, we'll be on our way out of here. Is that alright with you, Major? Am I alright with that? I thought you were supposed to be merciless. What's the matter, Captain? Torturing and killing tans doesn't turn you on anymore? Oh, it does, Major. It definitely does. Nothing makes me feel better, I gotta tell you, but... I'm under strict orders right now from General Dartmouth to bring you and three of your men back to Hedge Base alive. That's right, three of your men. We have five right now. Ah, I feel much better now. Four men left, you better hope I stay happy the rest of the way back. Captain! What is it, Mantis? Tan Jeep approaching. How many men? One or two, maybe. It, it's, it's just a Jeep. It's one of the probes from the rear. The, what's that? Oh, you think you can whisper to each other around me? I hear all, Sergeant. Who the fuck are you, anyway? This is Sergeant Brown, my adjutant. He never leaves my side. I see. So, you must know a lot then, don't you, Sarge? So that's one of your probes out there from the rear, huh? Come on! You are going to get rid of that probe out there, you understand, Brown? And remember, you got rifles pointed right at your back. Now get out there! Good evening. Good evening, Sergeant. How can I help you, Private? Well, Sarge, one of our unmarked nests was attacked a few hours ago. Really? Where? A couple miles southwest of here. Not a single survivor. Shit. Tenth Armored has been searching the whole area. A couple green casualties were at the site, but no other signs. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe I haven't heard anything. I should probably check in with Gorilla Headquarters. Sergeant, you are aware that a sentry is required to guard the perimeter at all times, aren't you? Uh, yes, of course. We happen to be switching ships just as you pulled up. Uh-huh. Sergeant, where is your commanding officer, Major Windsor? He's in there. In the bunker? Yes. They have him. Excuse me, Sergeant? The Greens. They have him, Private. Hold it right there, probe! Who are you? 
I don't have to tell you anything. Who the fuck are you? Uh, Pri Private Weed B Company, 10th Armored Division. Major, I'm, I'm sorry for being naive. Hey, it's not your fault, Weed. Shut up! Weed, as long as you're my prisoner, you'll speak only when spoken to. That might not be too long, Captain. Ain't that right, Wheat? What are you talking about? Wheat, what the fuck is he talking about? Tenth Armored has this whole area surrounded. They got tanks, armored cars, and plenty of pissed off tan troops. And it's all because of what you did back at that turret, Captain. You fucked yourselves over. God damn it, we shut those fucking sandmen up! Whoa, calm down, boss! Captain, what are we gonna do? Get on the radio to Hedge Base. Get me in contact with General Dartmouth immediately. Yes, sir. Stalwart, you take a squad and find a niche we can squeeze these prisoners through. Captain? You find a way we can sneak these prisoners past those tan patrols back across the Pungi line, understand? Yes, sir. Ha, huh, good luck. What's your plan, Captain? There's a high possibility we won't make it out with these prisoners. Not with those armored patrols out there. We might have to interrogate them right here and then feed the information back to Dartmouth over the radio. You in contact yet? I'm working on it, sir. Hurry up! Yes, sir. They're gonna interrogate us. What do we tell them, Major? You say nothing. You keep your mouth shut. Sir, I still have a grenade. I could use it to get us out of here. Hold the phone, Sergeant. Let's see if the 10th Armory can get us out of here first. They'll probably torture us. Yeah, they will. But you need to keep calm, Sergeant, and keep your mouth shut. If you keep your mouth closed, I'm gonna pry it open with the barrel of my rifle. You will fucking talk, unless you wanna end unless up with Unless we wanna die? Fuck you, I'd rather die for my nation than talk. Oh no. It's unless you want to spend the rest of your fucking life as a little plastic lump. Just try me and see how creative I can get. Yeah. It's quite a sight to see. Captain. General Dartmouth's on the line. Oh, thank God. Hello, General? Sir? Yes. Yes, we have Windsor, but we're held up in the nest and the tans have surrounded the whole area. I'm gonna enjoy watching you suffer. Major, if you want to keep that same ugly tan physique, then you'll tell the General everything he wants to know. One thing I'll tell the General. That 10th Armored ain't letting you go anywhere. Man, yeah, we'll see about that. All right, go ahead, General. Major Windsor, we know that General Dune is hiding somewhere called Gorilla Base. Where is the location of Gorilla Base? The location? It's up your ass, General. I don't hear anyone laughing, Major. Let's try again. Where is Gorilla Base? You better fucking talk! Gorilla Base! It's in the... the Felgrat Mountains! That's enough. Oh! Well, that's pretty fucking obvious. I believe the general wants to know the exact location in the Feldgra Mountains. Uh, it's in... It's in the Central Valley, east of Battery Mountain. Show me on this map. Right there, in the valley. Uh, the train tracks run all through the mountains. Uh, Give these coordinates to Dartmouth. Uh, yes, sir. What are the train tracks used for? Uh, uh, just, just mining carts, transportation, you know, mining, stuff like that, you know? You're lying, Private. No, 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 no I swear, I swear, Soldier, that's what they're Soldier, give him a Glasgow smile. No, just, just, wait, stop, wait, wait, whoa, 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 stop, wait a minute, wait a minute! Run, 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 run. 
Stay right there and watch, Tan. What are those train tracks used for? Captain, General wants to ask another question to the Major. We'll get back to you in a minute. All right, General, go ahead. All right, Windsor. 10th Armored is under General Dune's command, right? What's the 10th Armored Division's current strength, and how much more does General Dune plan on strengthening it? And where exactly are the resources coming from? <laughs> I don't think you really want to know that answer. I'm afraid you'll all shit in your green panties. I've taken whole divisions on by myself. You think just a couple of tanks and trucks are going to scare me? Well, I don't know, Captain. It seems like you're hiding from tanks and trucks this very second. If you're so brave, why not just walk out there and show them how big your balls really are? Crisp, get over here. Yes, Captain? I need your help getting some answers from the Major here. Yes, sir. Now, let's get back on topic, Major. The 10th Armored Division's strength. How much? I think maybe we'd better if you found that out for yourself, Captain. I mean, we know you're not afraid. Crisp. Major, don't mess around. You know what I've always thought looked great on tan officers? Stalactites. And I think you just look magnificent with a stalactite hanging from your leg right there. Don't you think so, Major? Well, if not, well then, you can just tell us the strength of the 10th Armor Division. Come on, Major. You don't want to be deformed. Are you out of your mind? Don't let them melt you! Private Crisp. Major? You can take that torch and go fuck your captain with it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, Major. Hold him down. Yeah! Woo! Yes! Woo! Get back and watch. Let it sink in, boys. Give it to him. Oh, yeah. yeah! You piece of shit! You green pieces of shit! Now, while that dries, let's get back over to our smiling friend over here. What are those train tracks in the mountains used uh, for? Uh, all right, enough! Enough! That, they're railway guns! Railway guns? Yeah. General Dune, he has... He's got a lot of them up there. They're, they're hidden inside the mountains, you know? That's what the train tracks are used for! How many railway guns? How big a caliber? I don't know. I swear to God, I don't know! Fine. Don't worry, General. We still got three prisoners left. Did you get all that? Tans are using railway guns in the Feldgrau Mountains. Yeah, it's peculiar. We'll get back to that one. Has Windsor decided to confess on the 10th Armored Division's current and future strength? Well, let's see. Tenth Armored Division. What's their strength? <sighs> you wanna know? Fine. Twenty thousand strong. All specifically recruited. They're men who have served in the roughest battles. They've served in Greyland and Blucia. That's right. They fought the Blues and the Greys. I wish you all the best when you meet them on the front. And the 5,000 newly equipped tanks. 3,000 heavy tanks. Plus 2,000 armored vehicles and self-propelled artillery. What about the railway guns? Railway guns. You can do whatever you want, but I don't know anything about railway guns on the Feldgross. You want another stalactite, Major? 
Captain, I'm serious. I don't know anything about railway guns on the Felgras. Crisp, give him another no, one. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about no railway guns. Oh, God damn it! Oh, oh. Ah. Lucifer! Cease fire! What did you say? Lucifer! The railway gun's name is Lucifer. And General Dune is hiding it in the Feldground Mountains. Major Windsor seriously doesn't know about it. But before I was transferred to this nest, I worked on it in the tunnels of Gorilla Base. I was there when Lucifer arrived. He's a fucking liar. He's just trying to scare us. Shut up, Moss. So how big of a gun are we talking about? How devastating is this Lucifer? Soon. You will see, Captain. Captain, they've spotted us. What? The 10th Armored Patrols. They know we're here. They're coming to fucking plow over this nest. We gotta get out of here. Captain! Reinforcements are on the way. Whatever you do, do not let those prisoners escape. Bring them back to Hedge Base in one piece. No promises, General. Out. Captain McCobb, you bring those... All right, listen up. I want three men per prisoner. Do not let them leave your grasp. We're going to sneak through the brush in line formation. Do not shoot unless you are shot at. We are trying to escape this place, not engage in battle. Well, that ain't going to happen. No one leaves this nest. That's it. I'm putting an end to you. Sergeant Moss, do not execute that prisoner. He has vital information. We are taking him back. Attention, you pew-colored bastard. This is Colonel Spear of the 10th Armored Grenadiers. We have the nest completely surrounded. Relinquish Major Windsor and the rest of your prisoners. And then become ours. Otherwise, prepare to be obliterated. You have 30 seconds to comply. Fuck! What do we do now, Captain? Alright, get Windsor over here! What for? We're gonna use them as shields, we're gonna take them out slowly at gunpoint, alright? We don't have enough prisoners. You gotta go right now! We can't hold them off any longer! Out of hell with this! What are you doing, Sergeant? I'm blowing this place! Sergeant, don't do anything stupid! Brown, don't do it. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Brown, you hand that grenade over right now! Hand it over! I'm gonna take him! Sergeant, don't do it. Sergeant, I am ordering you, do not fire! Oh, you burn in hell! Brown, no! Fuck you! Oh, you fucking idiot! Grenade! Grenade! Oh, you take cover! No! Oh, shit. Grenade! Ah, oh, Jesus! Oh, fucking oh, Sandman! Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? Carry the Major. You and your man provide covering fire, Star Get his ass over here right now! What about Sergeant Moss? <laughs> he's... he's done. He's not gonna make it. Sir, what about the other prisoners? Fuck him!
Move, move! Where are we going, Captain? Oh, damn it! Where the fuck do you think we're going? You're going to hell. That's where you're going. You're all going to hell. Every last one of your green shit stains. What? What the hell was that? Don't think so, Major. Today, I ain't going to hell. Everyone crawl like a motherfucking centipede! Take the tan! Yes, sir! Major secure! Let's hook up with the reinforcements! Forward! Give those men covering fire! Captain McCobb! What is it? Come here for a second, sir. What is it, Lieutenant? Glad to meet you! I'm Lieutenant Pine! Commander of Death Company, 2nd Green Armored Division. And you must be Sergeant Stalwart! Yes, sir. Excellent job securing that prisoner, Captain. That's a Enough great... fucking chit-chat! I got 10th Armored out there, chewing up my men! We gotta help them out! I understand, Captain. I'm here to relieve you. What? Well, your orders are to take Major Windsor back to Hedge Base immediately. Look, kid! My men are out in that field, out in the line of guard! We gotta... We'll take care of it, Captain. You're in the clear. So you need to head back now. General Darth Maul's orders. Come on, Captain. We need to get out of this hell hall. Go, Captain. Go! Right here, Captain. I'm taking you and the prisoner back to head. Fine! could be stored right below Battery Mountain. I mean, the mountain is big enough to hollow out and hide a rail gun. General, we got no idea how big this Lucifer gun is. It might be stored underground, it's so goddamn big. That's ridiculous, Major. There's no gun in the world that big. Well, you never know, Colonel. General Darthmouth, sir. Yes? Captain McCobb has returned with Major Windsor. Send them in immediately. Yes, sir. Captain McCobb, Sergeant Stalwart. Glad you made it back. Yes, sir. You, of course, remember Colonel Fern and Major Spark here? Yes, of course. Major, Colonel. So, you were able to nab that tan bastard Windsor, huh? Yes, sir. Good God. Gentlemen, Major Windsor. Thank you for cooperating to the fullest, Major. I'm done. I'm not saying another word. I don't care how much you melt me down. Well, let's see how you like it when you're nothing but a hit. Didn't I order you to return to this base with Windsor and at least three other prisoners? Back on the radio, you told me you had three. Situation turned fierce, General. T Dune and his 10th Armored Division were surrounding the whole nest. One of those tans pulled out a grenade and Moss put him out of his misery You let that... the situation get out of control. I had to act fast, sir. I didn't have time to organize the prisoners and have them ready to move. Besides, we fed the information through the radio. We got a lot of intel out of those prisoners. Yes, but we need more, Captain. General, I got your fucking major. Now, Stalwart and I, we're lucky to be alive. 
Hell, Moss is dead. First Platoon is still out there on the Punya line being pulled out by fucking Lieutenant Pine and his Death Company Armored Battalion. Now, I brought you what you asked for. And I risked a lot. Most men are rewarded for that. They're rewarded for bringing back one prisoner when they're ordered to bring back four? Am I fucking talking to you, Colonel? You want to try and pull prisoners off the line with bullets flying up your hey, ass? you don't talk to me that Why way. Stand down, Captain. I'll talk to you however I want. What the fuck do you know about the field, desk jockey? Captain! You little fucking maggot! Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm the meanest motherfucker in the whole Green Army! Captain, you stand down immediately! Oh, you're right, General. This fucking loudmouth does have an attitude problem. Everyone just calm the fuck down. You know, you did bring back the Major, and that's a big step forward. So congratulations on that, Captain. There, you've been rewarded. We'll be taking the weight from here. Elements from Trojan Company should be returning very soon, Captain, so I think you and the Sergeant should be with them, don't you think? So, Major, where should we start? Captain, they're not going to promote you? Fucking ingrates. No matter how hard you try, you can never please your commanding officers. Must be an officer thing. At least we got Windsor in custody. Yeah, but for how long? How much more do you think he's gonna confess about the 10th Armored and its increasing strength? And the Punya line? And the fucking Feldgraw Mountains? Not to mention thousands of more tanks, jeeps, trucks, artillery? God only knows when the Tan will plan to unleash it all. Well, I guess we play the waiting game, Captain. Green Plastic News, on the march! Fighting is what the Green are made for, and the Green always do it best. 